Hello and welcome to the video with me, Winner Android, where I got another weekly Android video as Snarball. So, um, yeah. Don't really actually have anything to talk about besides anime this week, considering, yeah. Kinda decided to just avoid games, kind of, this week. Purely due to the fact that basically all the anime for the winter season ended this week, with an exception to World of Adele, which ended last week, and then the two that's an air tomorrow finish get their last episodes which of course being tomorrow can't actually but i'm into this video and everything so they have to go to next week but uh yeah normally for anime seasons this kind of more split between two weeks instead of basically all being in one single week with all the anime ending but eh, yeah I guess I'll just go ahead and get started. I'm going through anime and kind of just saying what I want to say, I guess. About everything that I was watching at the very least. So, to start off, we got Slow Loop. In which, to be honest, it's basically just Hero Camp, but fishing instead. And also a big cupcake, kick, I guess. But overall, it is mostly just your average wholesome slice of life anime. That's all it really is. Though despite its being wholesome and slice of life, it has a bit of depressing points in it. So there's that, I guess. But otherwise, I don't really actually have anything to say about Slow Loop. Besides the fact that it is literally basically just theater camp, but fishing, to be honest. I guess there's nothing wrong about that, to be honest, really, considering theater is camp good, slow loop is good, so, yeah. Uh, moving on to Doll's Frontline, I guess. In which, overall, I would say it has a decent story. Which could have been much better. I think. If the anime had a different director. Considering, yeah, I got a feeling the quality of this may have had something to do with the director. Considering this is the same direct person that was the director of Peach Boy Riverside. Which ended up turning into a complete, uh, yeah. Peach Boy Riverside was completely massacred. With how it was adapted. With the whole episode order for the story being completely all over the place. It was like episode 4, 1, 2, 3. No. Episode 4, 1, 2, 5, 4, something. I honestly don't even remember the order. It's just all over the place, really. But, uh, yeah. I would say the best thing about this whole anime was the opening. Really, I think the opening was the best thing about the entire anime. That's it. Everything else was just decent, at best, I think. And also, I think there's a possibility it might actually get a second season. I'm not exactly sure. It is Doll's Frontline, or Girl's Frontline. Um, yeah. I really don't know if it's going to get a second season, but I kind of want it to just be does it's dolls frontline girls frontline here but uh yeah i honestly don't know if it is going to get a second season or not so yeah i guess that's all i really have to say there so moving on to tagaki sun in which had a lot more development in this season between nishikata and tagaki than what we've had in previous seasons though i think that's also probably due to the fact that uh good chunk of what I would think we had in this season was anime original, leading to the ending we got here, which I'm pretty sure most of this stuff is anime original, pretty much. Haven't actually read the source material or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure it's anime original, just going by discussions on Mal and what I've gotten up from there. But overall, Nishikata has finally re basically realized that he actually has feelings for Takaki-san. 
Though I never actually dropped the L word at the end of the episode there. But I guess that's probably what actually ended up happening in the movie that's going to be... That we're going to be getting in the next few months. So, yeah. guess the L word will be, be in the movie. Not exactly sure there, and yeah. I'm going to take a guess that this will end... The movie will be the end of this series. Though I would honestly really like to continue getting more seasons of this. But even if it is the end, we at least basically have the Moto series adaptation that we can hope for. Considering I think the one scene we had in this anime so far, teasing Chi-Chan and everything there, is... Enough confirmation to know that we're probably going to get an adaptation of the Moto series. So even if this comes to an end with the movie, we at least have that to look forward to, I guess. And also, one last thing I really kind of want to just say here is the end of that episode. Nishikata and Takaki-san started a staring contest. While the credits are rolling, and legends say they are still staring at each other to this day. They haven't even removed a single muscle. Yeah. They seriously just had the credits rolling that entire time, not neither of them moving at all, just staring intensely into each other's eyes. But yeah, um, that's all I really have to say for Takaki-san. So, moving on to the strongest sage, in which I haven't actually talked about at all this season, though I was watching it, and to be honest, I liked it quite a bit, to be honest, really. Despite it being your generic, overpowered main character and everything, power, fantasy, and every, all that, in which, from what I can tell on this, from discussions in Mal, the... Pacing of the story was very quick. Stuff getting completely removed from the story. That would kind of explain stuff that was going on and also add on to more world building. But in a way, I guess, considering it is your generic power fantasy anime and everything, kind of helped a little bit just by making it to where the story was quick and not boring. So... Don't know really how know how I feel about that stuff being removed, but it ended up being okay at the very least, and I did enjoy it. So, yeah. Um, the only other thing that I really have to mention is just the main character's name, Matty, which I don't think I've actually ever seen a name like that in anime before, Matty. Or at least the nickname, being that. In which, there is another Matty I know of that he kind of reminds me of just because of the name, which is from uh, H game, Questfeld. Though that Matty has absolutely nothing in common with that other Matty besides the name. But yeah, just wanted to mention that, so yeah. Don't have anything else to say about strong, the strongest sage, so I guess I'll move on to my dress up darling. In which I basically went into this anime with absolutely no expectations at all, considering I basically only heard of it and at I only actually really heard of it a few weeks before it started airing, I think. So, I honestly didn't really know anything, so I was kind of just expecting it to be a good romance anime at the very least. But, yeah. I think it's probably one of my favorite romance anime now. Just because it was just so wholesome, to be honest. I honestly don't care about the fan service that was in it. It's still wholesome as crap. And I also loved the amount of attention to detail that was going into things, especially cosplay, which does make sense considering, besides being romance anime, it's also kind of about 
cosplay, of course. But, uh, yeah, really loved the attention to detail throughout the entire thing. Though, the one thing I would say I kind of would like I to have that we did not get was just seeing more of other characters, like Marine's friends, considering we never really got to see them at all through the entire all 12 episodes we got, so, yeah, I honestly would have liked to see a bit more of them, but, eh, still great. And overall, when it comes to Marine, I kind of think she's probably one of the most realistic characters I've actually seen in anime, just with how she acts and everything. But that's just me personally. I think she's probably one of the most realistic characters I've seen in anime. That's it. My personal opinion, that's it. But, uh, yeah. She's definitely a contender for Waifu of the Year. Without a doubt. I won't say she is going to be the Waifu of the Year, considering, um, yeah. We still have another three seasons to go through. This is only the first season. No, she's definitely taking the spot. Uh, it's for waifu of the season, I think. Um, yeah. Don't really have anything else to say here, I guess. So, moving on to the other anime Cloverworks did this season. Akabi-chan. You know what? Overall, I would say it is a wholesome, feel-good anime. Don't really know what else to really call it, to be honest. Slice of Life. I guess. Though, easily the one thing that stands out the most about it, I think, when it comes to what's good, is just the visuals. They're absolutely amazing visuals in this thing. In which, yeah. I don't actually really know what else to talk about this, considering it's just good. And the best thing I can easily just point out is the visuals in it. I don't really know what else I can really say is good. Just trying to figure that out, I honestly don't really know. But visuals, definitely good. And yeah, uh, the anime itself is good, okay? Though at the beginning of it, I did find myself a bit bored while watching the episodes. Though the anime did grow a lot on me throughout the season, as you can tell considering how much I'm praising it. So, yeah, I guess I don't really have much else to say here for Akami Chen now, since I don't know what else to say. So, moving on to Princess Connect, I guess, in which I would say this is gotcha money put to good use, finally, in which we got an happy ending, I guess, it's what that is. In which even Kaiser Insight was saved. In which I did say like two weeks ago, I think, about the fact that I wanted to say something about this anime, but was going to hold off until now, basically. Basically because of Carol. Obviously. Considering, yeah. Carol is a very good character. And I honestly do really like her. Though, I kind of throughout this entire anime, especially this season, been liking Carol less and less with each episode. Purely because of her loyalty to Kaiser and Sight. Which I was hoping that she was going to redeem herself by the end of this. In which... I honestly just don't know how I feel about that anymore. Considering she's still loyal to Kaiser Insight and everything, even after all of this. And Kaiser Insight did get saved, basically because of her. Still caring about her and everything. But we did get a happy ending. So I honestly really don't know how I feel about all that. And also another thing I will say is... Basically, in a game like this, when it comes to gotcha games and all that, I haven't played any of them, really. The only things I've played is Azure Lane, and I guess Crossing Void is another that I could mention, I guess. 
though I don't think that many people actually know of that one. But those are the only ones I've really played, so... I don't know anything about things like this when it comes to, like, Dolls Frontline or Princess Connect. But when it comes to Princess Connect here, um, from my understands, like, Twinkle Wish is quite important for Yuki's character development and everything, but they're completely absent in the anime so far, except for being, like, in the background and everything, I guess. So I guess they are in the anime if you count that. Though I think, if anything, they one of them, like Yui, probably only got like maybe one line in it. I don't remember. So, no Twinkle Wish, despite from what I can understand, being very important for Yuki's character development. But that there is us the end of what I have to say for Princess Connect. So, moving on to Genius Prince. And which I would say is similar to Realist Hero, but being much better, I think, than what it, Realist Hero is. Which is purely because I just find it more enjoyable to watch. Which I think is probably due to just there being more comedy and not being so serious, I guess. Don't really know how else to say this, so, yeah. Um, all the enemies that Wayne had throughout the season, at the very beginning, they were stupid, of course. But that was also probably where it's most realistic when it comes to things going on. Because the further you it went through the season here, the smarter the enemies got, but also the more unrealistic things got, like getting an entire city of 30,000 people to basically follow you. That is impossible to do. Completely unrealistic. unrealistic. So, yeah. But the enemies, of course, do get smarter and not com being completely stupid. And also, from what I can tell, the smart ones are also permanent characters that we're going to keep seeing throughout the season series, so, yeah. Overall, Wayne basically just outsmarts everyone, just by using massive bluffs, to be honest. And, yeah, that's him for the most part, I guess. The anime does have a few good waifus that... Probably would actually stand up being quite popular when it comes to this season if it wasn't for Marin. So, yeah. Niam and Loa, I think, would be quite popular this season compared to others if it wasn't for Marin being in this season and everything. So, and also, one thing I kind of wanted to mention when it comes to this final episode and everything apparently, taking a sword to the Back, gets completely, completely gets rid of all your body fat, according going by what happened to Keen. Yeah, there it's the end. Completely fat, gets stabbed in the back, and he's all of a sudden kind of just fit or something, I guess. All the fat's gone. Yeah, anime logic right there, I guess. But as yeah. That there is the end of Genius Prince there, so moving on to Fabiniku. Fantasy episode show thing, yeah. For the most part, this anime was basically just comedy, of course. And also, I guess, kind of a parody, considering there was Swartz, which is basically a rip-off Kirito that I am honestly pretty sure most, a lot of people at the very least, will actually like more than the real Kirito. So, yeah, there's that going on there. In which, when it comes to the anime overall, I honestly enjoyed this a lot more than what I was expecting. Considering, at the beginning of the season, I was kind of like, should I actually watch this or not? It sounds interesting. I decided to just go ahead and watch it, and I honestly really liked it. Liked it, so yeah, pretty good, I think.
don't really know what else to say here for it, so I guess I'll just move on to Kindeshi, in which I would say is probably the worst anime I watched this season. Easily. Though I do think it has quite a bit of potential. But it was just handled in a completely horrible way, to be honest. To the point where it's just kind of being meh. Not very good at all, to be honest. Having horrible CGI for all the monsters and everything. And tons of stuff getting cut out to the story. From what I can tell as well. And I would have to take a guess that's... The story is actually quite a bit better than what it was in the anime. It's just that the adaptation for it was absolutely horrible. And the light novel does actually have a pretty good story. Because I do... I can tell that it does have potential just from watching the anime. But... Yeah. The anime didn't do very good. So... Worst anime of the season for me. So, moving on to the final one I actually had to talk about, which is Arifireta. Or Alfiera. Don't really know how you're supposed to pronounce that, but uh, yeah. Much better than the first season, that is for sure. Better CGI and slower pacing for the story, which I'm pretty sure all that is basically due to the change in studio actually adapting this anime. So, yeah, much better than the first season. That's all I think I can really say here. I don't think I actually mentioned this anime at all this entire season, except for, like, one time, which is mainly just to mention the improved CGI. So, yeah, um, pretty good, I think. Don't know if it's going to get a third season. No, I guess I would like to see one, just to kind of get closer to the end of the story, I guess. But, uh, yeah. I think that is everything I had to mention for anime done. So, uh, yeah. I guess one thing I kind of want to mention, considering I didn't actually get to play any games this week due to the fact that I kind of just didn't really care, and the fact that none of them really had updates until the day I'm recording this. With now and then getting chapter 26 released. With the endings and epilogues. So yeah, I'm going to be playing that this week for sure. And finishing off now and then I guess. Though apparently there will be more updates in the future. Just kind of improving the moving parts I guess. Going by developer. So uh, yeah, I guess guess that is the end of this video. Really didn't talk about anything other than anime, so yeah. That there is the end of this video. We hope, hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.